Um, this next question is, what is the amount for one person to qualify for help um, with their house? And I'm, I'm assuming that you're asking if there's a cap in the amount of assistance or uh, what is the um, income criteria. If, if, uh, again, if you're asking if there's a cap for the type of program or project, uh, for single family rehab, I believe um, in the proposed projects for single family homeowner rehab, um, each applicant can qualify, has the potential to qualify for up to $75,000 um, to address damages totaling less than 75% of pre disaster value. So, um, and, but then there's other um, criteria that have to be met. Now, if you're asking about what is the low income criteria for a one person household, then that will be. Let's see if I have mine. Here, have you have it. Okay. In order to qualify as a one person um, household, your income must fall. Um, at or below twenty nine thousand three hundred. Okay, and hopefully that answers your question. If not, you can see me after the after the meeting. Um, let's see. And what do you have for people's land that is still being lost and swept away by the recent ruins we have been having? Um, to my knowledge, I don't think we, um, the proposed projects um, that we have are mainly for the actual structures. Um, and I, I know we don't um, administer any programs that address that um, issue. Are you aware of any I, in the community? I, I don't think so, but I was wondering about some of the additional money that we may be getting. We won't really go into that, whether or not it would be utilized for more of your hazard mitigation uh, type of work. So, but, but as Dee said, right now, and as the funds that we have for this are not designed for that purpose. But we have, we certainly understand, we have had requests where parts of the backyard may have been washed out. And so it's, it's really a problem, not only to the home, but to the land uh, that they have left. I uh, did want to mention, um, I would encourage you to follow up with uh, both the city and the county on our existing programs because while our applications are being submitted uh, September the 15th, there still will be time in between that from the time the state approves our application, we actually get the money and set up our programs. And you know some of the programs that we have available today, the way we look at it is if you can utilize one or two programs and put it together and get all of the work you need to get done or if we will allow you to use more than one of our programs if that works for you for instance our emergency uh, repair program that i mentioned before or the county's program i would encourage you to go ahead and contact our office to see if you can get assistance with getting some basic things done that qualify under those programs uh, like our first favor of urban ministry, they can do certain repairs, minor repairs, uh, like leaking roofs and things like that today. You can call them tomorrow and uh, get assistance from them or from us if it's a complete roof that needs to be done. So we, again, I have brochures for our programs and you can follow up uh, with, with D to, if you're in the county, to get their information, go to their website or call their office to find out what programs are today because if we can go ahead and start assisting you now, especially with the essential housing repair that we mentioned because it has a higher income um, allowance. And so for some people that may fall outside of the 80%, you may be able to get assistance in the 100%. And that's a program that's available today. So I would encourage you if you think one of these programs uh, fits uh, your situation, uh, give us a call. And, uh, in the brochure that we have for our housing programs, it gives all of our programs, such as our acquisition demolition program, um, and just other programs that we have that may be able to help your individual situation. Thank you. 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 Th
Um, and the last two questions, um, why no funds for businesses uh, within the county? Um, when we um, sat down and decided on the projects and how it would be um, divided between the county and the city, what projects would the city uh, undertake, what projects would the county undertake, we based our um, our information on the assessment that was done and um, the annual action plan that the state uh, provided. And so it appeared that most of the damages uh, from the hurricane um, impacted areas um, within, the, within the city, and that's including businesses. So that's why we focused more on businesses within the city limits um, and so the, and also on uh, other projects within the, within the city and hopefully that answered your question but it was based on an assessment and, and the uh, information that was provided in the annual action plan provided by the state and I think that's all the questions here and, and so um, Sally uh, may want to wrap it up for us unless there are any other questions uh, but we'll be here uh, with our staff, Ms. Little, myself, uh, and Dee, to answer any individual questions that you may have uh, that you need to ask us offline. And we, again, have these uh, individual brochures for our housing programs that we'll put um, on one of the back tables uh, before, so you can get that if you want to get additional information. Thank you. Thank everyone for being here. So just remember, if you're in Cumberland County or anywhere outside of Fayetteville, Move over and talk to Tracy Jackson or Dee Taylor. If you're within the city limits, then um, Mr. Einstein and Vicar Sharp are here. Um, remember, sign up for Cumberland Alert. Do that. Someone did ask if the PowerPoint presentation about getting that. We will get it up on our website under Community Development, and I'll send it to the city, and they'll have it on their website as well. So thank you so much for coming.